Hi everyone, I am Sidra, the host for today's webinar, which will be about Flipkart interview preparation. Uh, so the guest for today is Aman, and he's currently working as a SD1 at Flipkart. Prior to this, he worked in TCS for a year, and he has passed out from JP in the year 2021 from uh, Electronics and Communication Engineering branch. Uh, so he will tell you about the tech tricks and tips to crack a uh, Flipkart interview preparation series and how to approach that. So uh, the webinar is going to be very helpful for all those who are preparing to get into Flipkart. And if not that, if even if you're preparing for uh, top product based companies, then also the whole session is going to be very useful for you all. So uh, we're going to start with a basic introduction followed by a Q&A session. So I would request you to stay tight till the end if you want to uh, get all the important things from the webinar. So uh, without further ado, I will call Aman to the stream. Hi, yeah, Aman. How hi, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. So uh, yeah, although I've told everybody about you, but I still want you to give a brief introduction about yourself to everyone. Yeah, so myself, Aman Gupta, and currently I'm working at Flipkart as a software developer. And prior to this, I was working at TCS for around, I think, one year and uh, passed out in 2021 from JP Institute, Noida. And uh, yeah, I think I did my electronics, I did my graduation in electronics and communication. Yeah. So yeah, that is about me. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so I'll start with my first question for you, which is uh, how did you get to know about Flipkart? Like, how did you land your in your current role? Uh, was it an off-campus placement or off-campus or on-campus, whatever that was? Can you just quickly walk us through that? So I think uh, like in most of the companies, I think in Flipkart or other companies, it's specifically they post on LinkedIn and all, like uh, whenever they have any team-specific hiring. So the, the recruiters or like the people from the team posted on the LinkedIn. So I got to know it about from there. And then I contacted one of my seniors in my college uh, for a referral. And yeah, so I had a pretty decent resume. So yeah, so she referred me in that position. And when we like uh, uh, send the resume, the check for which profile, which is for which we would be eligible. And yes, and then they shortlist it. So that's how I got to interview with them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. And uh, can you can you tell us how many rounds of interviews you had to go through at Flipkart, and how did you exactly prepare for them? Like, what was your approach? Did you follow any particular strategy? And from how long did you start preparing? So uh, there were, in my case, there were three interviews, but I don't know, like, for other candidates or like how they do for other candidates. But in my case, there were three interviews. And for like the preparation strategy, it was like pretty straightforward data structure and algorithms only mostly. And uh, I've been doing like competitive programming and all in my college. So I didn't have to go that much through lead code and other stuff because uh, I was already used to these kind of problems and all. So yeah, I think uh, uh, even lead code, if we do, I think that is also better. But uh, if uh, you are doing CP and all, then it would be much better for you to crack these interviews. Yeah, it is like that. Okay, so you are suggesting competitive programming for interview preparation, right? Uh, it's totally up to you, like how you want to prepare because uh, it's not mandatory to do it, but uh, it yeah, gets easy to, if you do CP, then it uh, becomes easy to crack these interviews and stuff that. And yeah, yeah I think so it, it gives yeah. you an edge over everybody. Yeah, it gives a little bit of an edge, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you you were just talking about uh, getting your resume shortlisted. So my next question was that only because resume plays an important role in landing a job. So how 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 do you think your resume was different from others, or how do you think the HR uh, what did they exactly see in your resume that was missing in others so that they picked you over them? So uh, what do you think is that that one thing which fetches you the bounty points? Yeah, I think yeah, resume does play a very important role. Yeah, initially, when, before prior to Flipkart, when I was applying, uh, I didn't have that much good resume, so I was not getting shortlisted. So when I applied to Flipkart, I changed a lot my resume. So it's like that, uh, uh, all the basic things should be like currently visible. Like uh, whenever you see the resume, all uh, your, it should highlight all your qualities. It's like that. So like if like I've been doing CP and I have good uh, ranks in that, then when you look at the resume, it should highlight that. And all your, if uh, you have a very good project and all, 
then then it should be at the center of the resume like when you are saying it then the recruiter can see it yes he has done this 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 so he can like shortlist you because the recruiter doesn't have that much time to i think look at the resume they just look at i think 5 to 7 seconds so in that span of time they decide whether to go ahead with this candidate or not yeah i think so all the major qualities should be like um, uh, highlighted and you can bold them all in the resume so that also uh, gives you an edge yeah correct uh, if you don't mind telling about your projects and what was what were those things that you highlighted in your resume because that would help a lot of people who are uh, working on improving the resumes and they, who are currently studying in engineering colleges so can you tell me uh, what projects you particularly worked on and what points you highlighted yes so basically i uh, i think i the projects i mentioned in my resume were like my major and minor projects only and uh, because uh, during the college in third and fourth year we create those projects so you can uh, if you have made good development projects so then you can go, uh, print them over there and uh, also like if you have doing if you have been doing cp and all then you can mention your ranks and all your uh, 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 whatever achievements like five star or uh, four four six but and everything like that you can mention it over there and uh, yeah i think uh, mostly for it and for like uh, sd1 roles these are one of the major qualities which they look for and yeah i think you can highlight these points here okay uh, do you think flipkart follows a different process for hiring interns and altogether a different thing for hiring graduates yes i think uh, for graduates it's a bit different for interns and all i they didn't uh, visit much campus i think they only visit i think most of the iits and the iits and uh, yeah for interns i think it is not much level much of like low level design and all there is not there it is only dsa or in my case there was a low level design involved in that in my interview and yeah i think for and for if you go for higher roles like sd2 there will be high level design so it depends like which role you are applying for for graduates i think they expect the data structures and algorithms and some low level design yeah okay uh great my next question to you is what do you think flipkart is exactly looking for in a candidate when they are going to uh these colleges and hiring people or if even if not that if it's an off campus placement then what do you think they are exactly looking for like what has your experience been so far so i think they are mostly looking for people who are good at problem solving or not uh, like they don't take like any specific tech tech stack into a criteria that you should know this uh, tech stack like that it's uh, just like data structures will work them and some design problems which i told and uh, yeah i think uh, for interns and for graduates everyone it is the same thing but uh, for i think for senior positions it might be different but uh, for i think if you are graduate or interns then i think data structures algorithms and hoops design these things would be enough yeah but yeah that should be you should be good at it yeah this is opinion okay uh, and what do you think this flipkart hire through referral or they do not look at referrals at all Uh, I think referrals do matter a lot because I think they might be receiving a lot of resumes, so they cannot obviously they cannot see each and every resume. So yeah, referrals do give us an edge. Like if we are applying uh, through referrals, then I think the recruiter will see our resume. I think it's like that. Then it's up to them whether they find it suitable for that position or not. But uh, I think for referrals, then I think the recruiter will at least once look, take a look at the resume. But like if you are applying normally, then I don't think it uh, might be guaranteed. maybe they are looking at it but uh, don't know like how they would approach it yeah okay uh can, can you tell everybody about because you have had uh, a good experience at flipkart so can you tell them about three things that a student should not do in a flipkart interview yeah for interview specific yeah there are a couple of a few things to keep in mind so basically one of them would be to not rushing to any problem like uh, they always give time to if you if they are giving a problem then they would give you a plenty of time to think about it so most of the things what even i used to do in my previous interviews was like uh, like directly writing the code and not uh, analyzing the problem first these are this is one of the very important things so we should first analyze the problem so take all the edge cases into consideration and uh, yeah 
and then uh, if we find anything that uh, the problem might be uh, like any edge case then we should contact with the interviewer like what should we do in this case and what should we do in this case so this is very important thing and uh, they generally like uh, uh, they don't want you to like always solve the problem they just want to see like uh, how you are approaching the problem and uh, most of the times they don't even ask to write as the code for the problem they just ask the approach so that is enough in some of the cases yeah so i think uh, these would be some things to keep in mind here uh, yeah even i think many candidates who are applying for these interviews they don't conversate properly with the interviewer or whoever yeah. is present there and i think that is very important yeah okay great um okay so this is my own personal question that i wanted to ask to you because you are coming from jp and it's not some iit or nit so i just wanted to know was it really difficult for you to uh, come from a, a college that is not iit or nit and get into uh, flipkart as a sd like how how has it been for you yeah i think uh, for in the perspective of opportunities then it's a bit uh, difficult to like get the opportunities because uh, in in my even my college uh, where when the companies we used to came they only like uh, hired for csc candidates only they like uh, remove the electronics candidates so yeah it is a bit difficult to get the opportunities but uh, once we are working uh, in any company and then we have the required skill set then i think re uh, referrals uh, would do play an important role to referrals we can uh, like uh, get to know about the opportunities and the recruiters will contact us so it is like that so yeah for uh, like for fresh graduates like those who just passed on from college it might be a bit difficult but uh, after some time they will get the opportunities it is like that maybe in college it might because any company doesn't want to wait so much for like 5 to 6 months for uh, like candidates who are in college so yeah it is also a very important thing because companies don't usually wait for like fresh graduates that much 5 to 6 months yeah i think that is it yeah. okay okay great uh my next question is what kind of projects uh should the people who are currently in their colleges should what what kind of projects should they work on and uh uh what should they specifically keep in mind while doing the projects like if they want to get placed at top product companies then what should be the focus on because they cannot randomly pick up any project and start doing them there should be uh, a motivation behind it and there should be a clear mindset so uh, what do you think should be the main focus of the projects i think of whatever project you are making you should have very deep knowledge of it because uh, whenever like if you are if in like college then it's not that much uh, like for major minor they just it's not matter that much but when you are in an interview and you are showing it to interview then he like expect he doesn't expect you to know every tech stack and what you did in that but uh, what are the challenges that you faced while making that project you should know everything about that so yeah i think this is very important thing because uh, if you have made the project yourself then only you would be able to answer these kind of questions you cannot fake it yeah it is like that in an interview so yeah i think uh, for the project you should uh, i think very deeply like uh, look into whatever technology you are using then uh, you should have good knowledge of it yeah that is it. yeah do you also remember the title of the project that you worked on can you tell them more about the pro particular project yeah i think i the project i made uh, was like an e-commerce website which i like showed them and uh, it was one project and uh, some of the other projects uh, were like uh, yeah one more project it was like like an android application i created one or two android applications and showed them i don't know like it was like my college project so i don't exactly remember what i did in those so it's like that but yeah so one or two e-commerce website uh, one e-commerce website and one or two android applications which i made yeah so i showed them that yeah okay um and uh next thing uh, how how important is data structures and algorithm uh, in an interview <laughs> data structures and algorithms that is like a really important because uh, uh, because i think if you are very good at data structures and algorithms then you could uh, easily solve these problems you got uh the thing they look into it like how deep a knowledge of data structures and algorithms you have uh, because they in any interview in amazon or in flipkart or in any big company they would ask these and in amazon specifically i think they i also interviewed for amazon prior to flipkart so i was not selected there so in amazon they like uh, ask a lot of dsa questions i think three to four rounds of dsa only and uh, in it there was like low level design also so 
yeah i think dsa does play a very important role and uh, every uh, every topic is important to dsa mostly for these companies yeah okay can you can you segregate some topics that were asked to you in the technical round of flipkart like can you uh, tell everyone can can you tell everyone how many uh, questions from particular topics were there well i don't exactly remember the questions but mostly i think it was from drop dp trees i think mostly these were the questions these were from these topics i was asked and uh, also some array implementations i think uh, but uh i think no that was not in pip but that was an amazon ad implementation as well uh apart from this basically i think uh, they can ask anything basically it's up to them but uh, for if you're specifically like uh, trying to get into like uh, uh, what questions they ask so i think uh, that uh, any uh, you should prepare every topic i would say because they can ask anything it's up to them it's not anything fixed because uh, uh you should prepare every topic i would say okay um uh, i am done from my side and i think we've covered most of the things and those who are watching the webinar they would get a uh, good key takeaways from this one but i would still want you to give a piece of advice for all those people who are currently watching you so if you have anything that you would want to say or uh, how like till now however your journey has been whatever uh, things that you have got from that journey of yours and if you want to tell everyone about uh, how to approach these interviews then please go ahead uh for uh, like uh, if you are in college then i would say in first year and second year if you are then i could say you could try cp because uh, it would help you because only to doing dsa that is also enough for to crack in any interviews in like uh, you, you can do dsa in like 4 to 5 months also it doesn't take that much of time but if you are doing cp then it would be easy for you but because uh, then you are not constrained to any kind of problem because uh, you solve a lot of problems in cp like uh, doing for 400 to 500 lead code questions <laughs> doing 500 to 500 to 500 competitive programming questions it's makes a bit of a difference so because uh, in competitive programming you also uh, increase uh, other skills like debugging and uh, like implementation skills these are the things uh, which you can improve from cp other than that if you are like in your third year fourth year then uh, you could also go for uh, making some good open source uh, like contributing in open source and all that would also be very beneficial because uh, yeah at the end i would say like uh, anything which you are doing it would be fine but it's just that you should do something that is the only thing yeah okay great thank you aman for joining this webinar yeah. and uh, again thanks a lot for helping so many uh, students who will be applying to these product companies in future and i think yeah. this will be helpful to everyone of them uh, and good luck to you in your future endeavors i hope you do achieve, achieve everything that you wish for and thanks again thank you